M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to download the firmware iJV so that we can add the CW feature to this device. We've already got iJV on here, lots of features, but today we're focusing on CW and showing you how to load the firmware. Let's go over to the PC. Now we have got the twin pin plugged into the UV5 here. The other end is in the computer. We've not put it in firmware mode yet. We will do uh, once we get to that point. Over to the PC. Okay, we're at the PC. We're looking at the iJV software here and the first yellow link above here is the firmware. Just click that, download that. Scroll down and click the K5 program as well. The first link is, is just the bin file. If you have a quick look here, firmware, you'll see within there you've got the bin file you need and some information there as well so that's good news the second one is like a program loader but it's also great for backing up your calibration and your configuration so once you open that you get this window here and I'll just show you the zip so it's called the k5 program download and verified do that again and just run that oh it's run straight away look this is what the program looks like it's actually really good so connect your cable to your radio. You don't want to be in firmware mode, so we'll just come out of that, turn on the radio, and plug this in. So when you're backing up the calibration, you're in, you're in normal mode, blue screen mode. So the cable's in, plug into my PC. It's just to um, go on Amazon, put in UV5R cable. It's a CH340 driver. So if you right click, device manager, double click ports and then you are there you are CH34 I'll put the driver link in the description as well once you've got that connected you you need to select that com that we just saw which was number 11 or maybe I was a bit fast there device manager com 11 there you are com 11 okay put that here and look it will find it and it will look for the radio and it will go yep yeah, I'm connected to the radio which is just which it has just done so I can make the radio a bit bigger so you can see that. You're not really seeing actually much happening on the radio. And just to note that on the right here, there are some donation links for the IJV uh, team there. Take note of that. So back to the calibration backup. What you do is when it's, in the, when it's just in normal mode, blue screen or orange screen, white screen, click read configuration and you can do this with any firmware that you're deciding to load this is a great way of backing up your calibration and configuration so that was the configuration we get another window here and we're just going to save it I've been practicing so we'll just call this one the fifth time and we'll just save that file put it somewhere where you won't lose it and then you've got the calibration now you don't have to do this to do the firmware so we click the calibration tab but this is 100% recommended just in case things go wrong. Save. Okay, and then you, to write it back, you just click write. Okay, and it, and it does give you the option to open that file that you saved. Nice and easy. Now we'll go to the firmware. So unplug the cable, turn off the radio. Hold your finger on the PTT and turn on the radio. The top goes white. You've seen that so many times. And the firmware will fly in. You watch this so we're in firmware mode and this time we're going to click right firmware you do obviously of course have to select the firmware that would have been in that zip that i showed you just show you again there it is there firmware the little white one okay it's the bin file basically so we'll just go back to that program little white radio shortcut there we're going to go right firmware find that bin file Cheers. You don't, it's not the calibration, you want the actual bin file. There it is there, firmware UV 2.9. There might be a new one, but that's the one. And straight away, that's going to go into our radio. It loads very fast. You know, some of the, there's quite a few pluses to this firmware. One is the single screen mode. This CW is, is very cool. You put your call sign in, a couple of other parameters. And it just sends your call sign. I'm sure it does more. The, it, there's a lot of AGC settings that you haven't got in some other firmware. Each firmware has its strengths and they are listed here. I think there's a, like a comparison here 
that is shown with the different firmwares. So as you can see there, the firmware's in now. And if we just go and hold, if we go F, then A, B, F, then A, B, we'll unplug the cable. Look, we've gone into single screen. We haven't programmed the CW yet, but we're gonna do that in a separate, you know, after this section of the video. So let's go back to the radio and uh, have a little, have a little play. To get the CW settings in, you need to go into the secret menu. So turn it off, hold down the button beneath the PTT and the PTT, hold down, sorry my hands are in the way, and turn it on and it will say release keys, then let go. So you can now access all the menus that you need. First one we're gonna do is menu 39. So we'll go menu three, nine takes us to DLMON. Just make sure that is turned on and it looks like by default it is. To change it, you press menu, then go down or up with the arrow and then menu again. That's our first setting. The hardest one is probably adding your call sign. So we go menu, 59. And this only appears when you've gone into the secret menu, remember that. So once you've got that, just press select, press the menu again. And then start to go up and down and we're going to put in your call sign. So that when it does transmit, it will transmit your call sign. So I'll, I'll show you a couple and then I'll forward it. So M, the L does vanish when you, when you carry on. Enter with the M button. You can hold your finger if it's a painfully boring. Hold your finger and it's a lot faster. Eventually you get caps and you get the numbers that you'll need. I need zero. Zero. Then F. There's F. Enter. Hold it up. It's not too bad when you, when you do it that way. This is the nice thing about these radios, and they're just great fun tinkering with these different firmwares. I actually recommend you have two or three of these lying around myself, because you some, like this one here, the reason I got this one has the big chunky battery there, look. It's not USB-C, this one. But the reason I got it was because the battery is twice the size of the battery in my other ones, and I can swap them around. You do have to change the, break off a couple of tabs to swap them around, but these are very thin tabs, it's not a problem but the actual battery just slots in in the same way. It still goes in the chargers, of course. And you, you know, so for me, it's really worked well. I've got two of these. So anyway, M0 FXB, and then enter with the big M. Keep going, and it's in there now. So now we've got our call sign in for CW transmit. Let's exit. Well, we need to assign a button on the side to, to be our transmit button for CW. So the way you do this is go to menu 60. So if we just X, I know we were there, go menu and then six. Oh, remember we're in the secret menu and if you've forgotten how to get in there, you just push this button, this button and turn it on. At the moment it's selected as a monitor short press. So you've got the side button one, but it says S for short press. You know, there's be another function for long. We'll keep it on short. Uh, if you want to select the longer press, you just go down, look, side one, long press, and that's set as scanned, which is very handy. But up one, short, then we're going to go menu, and we want it to go to CQ. Keep going. There it is there. CQ, call CQ. See all the other functions that you can do as well? Press menu. So if we exit... I'm pretty sure we're ready. Now we're going to VFO mode by going F then three. because That's VFO and F then three is, again, would be memory. But someone's there on WR. Type in a frequency. Now you do need to sort of type in the whole frequency. I'll just show you that again. It's F, then hold your finger, that's VFO. F, hold your finger, memory. F, hold your finger on three, and then we're gonna go one, four, four. Now we need to put some zeros there, so we'll go back. So zero, 
one four four gonna go oh five zero but you've got to add two more zeros and then it goes in of course make sure you're in fm because we're on am there the mode selection is menu then three and just go to you want to select m then select cw okay exit so when did that stay <laughs> uh, no we're still in am so let's do that again uh, menu three cw and exit okay cw now i'm sure there's more parameters that you can change to make this optimized so let's just try it we'll push our side button we'll turn it up and it does flash the LED as well. And it's, you know, it's basically sending out CQ. To stop it, just press the PTT and it stops. It did shift the frequency, so it looks like I've got my minus there. So let's just move that. The offset would be menu. Let's try seven. And we want the shift direction to actually not work. That so it's menu six, then menu off, menu exit. We don't want it shifting our that's better. And it's it's pretty cool, isn't it? Now you can modify, so if you want to plug in a, a key, you can modify a plug. I'm pretty sure it's the 2.5 jack modify it and then you can use your key now i haven't got that far but there is um in the i'll put the link in the description for ijv and it's very very detailed really check it out there's a lot of information on the ijv i'll just quickly scan through and show you that uh, at the end of this video and thanks for watching my youtube channel 73 and big massive thanks to ijv and the the names we've got here are fabrizio ijv and Sirio, and they do have a PayPal donation button there as well. And let's have a quick look and then we'll end. The link will be in the description. We'll just quickly scroll down at all the links. You can see the, the radio there. It's got features, display, keys, menu, operators, and useful links on the official website. They've done a really nice job with this. The bin files, they're being updated all the time. I think this is, there's one here, yeah, for the UV K5-8 as well. That bin file looks newer than the one I use. The, oh, there's the one I use there, 2.9. Okay, there's a change log if you want it. Scrolling down, that's the K5 programmer. Instructions there. Portable radio updater. There's the cable and how to upload the firmware. Adjusting the radio after update. So I highly recommend you read through all this. It's all in English big long list of all the functions there carefully go through that now what it, it does say what it's not so it says here it's not spectrum and then it says a few other things here nice to, you know to let you know what the what the the items are on the display it's just amazing isn't it so thanks for watching of course this link is in the description it's quite long isn't it? I'll keep going even more look at all this yes air band thanks for watching my youtube channel and thanks to ijv bye for now